the work that you're doing on this issue is very, very important. Sometimes people have very, very short memories. Prior to coming here, my last meeting was with a group of people who are working nationally to prevent suicide at a mother and a father there from Nevada with the others who had lost their <clears throat> son to suicide, 21-year-old young man. The reason I mention that to you is that those of us who experience suicide in our lives understand how important it is to remember. My dad killed himself with a pistol. He was uh, a relatively young man, especially as I get older, he was, his age doesn't look so old. We have to remember what took place in Connecticut, that little elementary school, and can never take those names out of our minds. 26 little boys and girls, and six educators. Your responsibility is to make sure that the American people do not forget what happened there. I mean, I could see the tears out here as the names are being read. And I'm here to tell you with the other members of Congress that are behind me that we're not going to give up the fight. When Republicans voted against this legislation on the Senate floor, they voted against 90 percent of the American people. The fight is not over. It's just beginning. I'm hard pressed to find another issue where 90 percent of the American people think it's the right thing to do. This is the issue. 90 percent of the American people feel that someone who has mental problems, severe mental problems, and as a criminal shouldn't be able to buy a gun. No wonder 90 percent of the people think this is the case. But I want everyone here to understand the writing is on the wall. The Republicans who voted against this, the writing is on the wall. 